Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm late, y'all. They have changed stuff on here um, that I don't know how to mirror. Um, so, everything's going to be backwards. Maybe I need to go on Google and see why they changed it, what's going on. Um, but when you jump on, make sure you um, say uh, where you're from, who you are. Because once I turn it off on my phone, it won't say so-and-so is watching. You know, I won't see you unless it says, hey, Rosemary. Hey, Helen. All right. You turned your camera on. Um, I did, but it won't, they've changed something. I was watching a live earlier and somebody says, I don't know how to mirror it anymore. They've like changed it. Okay, so I can turn it off on here. And I thought maybe she just didn't know where to go look, but they have changed it. So normally this would say blessed is kitchen, but I'm sure it's backwards to y'all. Hey, Cynthia from Pennsylvania. Um, hey, Judy from Michigan. Kathy, Sherry. Sherry, I am so glad that your doesn't ha husband doesn't have COVID, but I read today where he has stomach flu and um, shingles. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Hey, Sin and everybody from Florida. Hey, Debbie, South Carolina. Okay, tonight we're going to make a little uh, uh, hanger, and we're going to do some watermelon on, uh, on it. But what I did was, I don't know if you remember, we did a pink truck at Easter. And we got this like corrugated board um, and you get it or metal tin, you get it from Walmart where I got mine from and they came, they came ten, two for $10. This one was the smaller one, but the one that's bigger is only about maybe an inch, inch and a half uh, longer and a little bit wider. So I got this from Walmart and like I said, I um, only pay 10 bucks for them, but you get two. One's a little bit bigger than the other. And the other thing I'm using is these uh, stovetop covers. And I'm only gonna use one of them. And I thought about, I didn't wanna open it until y'all got on here. Uh, hey, Lenore, uh, bless his poor heart. I know, isn't that terrible, Sherry? I'm just so glad. I thank you for the prayers, hoping tomorrow will be better for him. Me too, cause, um, the stomach flu. I mean, is that kind of like when you just you throw up like a stomach just virus that I'm I'm calling a stomach virus on the way to have a baby? So wish us luck with a ba a boy. All right, Martha. Oh my gosh, you gotta make sure you post a picture of that cute little baby um on Sense Crafter so we can see. Okay, so I'm gonna use the bigger one because I'm not really so. I think you could probably use those. Let me do this a little bit further down. I think you could really, for this project, do either or. The smaller one, it would show more tin, which is fine. And I'm not going to do anything with the tin part. So, I wish, though, I love the fact that it's, you know, rigid, you know, and bent like this. And it has that, like, almost silo uh, uh, effect to it. And I think you really could turn stuff like this either or. But, we're, you know, it's already, they come with hangers on them, so we're just going to leave that. But I think this is a really good size for it. But I almost wish there was some way I could put something, I guess I could put a paint stick on there and make it look a little dimensional. And I'm thinking in my head right now that we may could use one of our shims or maybe some shims in here that we've cut off or something and glue that across it, and then we could glue our sticks to this to rise it up. And I guess you could do either or, but we're, we're painting on this side. But let me get rid of the little tiny one, and we'll get to what we're doing. Um, we don't have to do anything this part besides maybe put these sticks on it to rise it up. So I'm gonna set it to the side. Thank you so much, Rosemary, for sharing. If you click on that button for Sims Crafters, I'm still getting y'all's requests every day, and it's awesome. You don't have to fill out any questionnaire. You just go on there and push the button join. It sends me a notification, and I accept you. It's somewhere you can post your crafts. You can look at other people's crafts. The great thing about my ladies is, like me, they watch other crafters, which I always suggest. So they have their crafts on there, and it may be somebody you've never seen or something, and you can... Did a dally around with it and, you know, change it and make it the way you want it or the colors you want. Um, or you can post your stuff. Um, I mean, we have a lot of people that are members that um, they don't post anything, but they do check and comment everybody else's. You get inspiration for everywhere, and everybody needs inspiration. Bless those sweethearts out there that can just do a craft 
and they're like, you know, Johnny on the spot and they just, all this, but you know, if you craft a lot, you know, sometimes you just need that inspiration from other people. Oh, Judy, no, but I mean, is he okay? I mean, is he, uh, you know, really sick? Oh, gosh, everything's just going on these days. And y'all have a friend who uh, is probably facing cancer, and I'm not going to say who they are, but please keep them in your prayers because, you know, sometimes COVID isn't the worst thing that people face. There's other things. So um, keep all those people out there with cancer and heart disease and stuff in your prayers too. Hey, Mary Beth from Virginia. Mary Beth, that's really pretty. Um, thank you so much. Hey, Mahala, I hope you're having a good day with your shoulder. Okay, what we're going to do is paint this first. Um, I went uh, to one of the, like, they had like a market day downtown in our um, uh, little town here. And, you know, I have one person that sells Dixie Bell paint, which you can buy on the internet. And a lot of people, I think there are even some crafters out there that, um, uh, sell Dixie Bell. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, it's good chalk paint, but I went to one of my um, little stores here, and they call, they sell resin paint, which is called Rethink, Rethunk Junk. Isn't that an awesome name? Yeah, oh, I forgot it's mirrored, so you can't, I, I don't know how to mirror it. They changed it. Rethunk Junk. And it's resin paint, and it's a little bit more durable. It's like chalk paint is really good for furniture and stuff, but, you know, it, it, it's not, you know, it, it can chip and scratch and all this. And supposedly this resin paint has a little bit, it's a little bit more durable, and most of what everybody does is furniture and cabinets and stuff with it. Um, but there are people that craft with it. And lo and behold, just about 30 minutes down the road from us, is where they make this. So this is kind of some Georgia inspired. So I'm gonna try it for the first time. I bought cotton. Now their cotton is different. Like when I get cotton from Dixie Bell or you get a cotton, it's not cotton from Waverly, it's really white. It's really white. But on their paint sticks, they have like cute little names like Dixie Bell and their cotton is kind of uh, like our plaster for Waverly. It's a little dirty, you know what I mean? A little antique. Um, white. So I got what they call cotton. I did get their um, seaside, which is kind of like a sea glass. She said it was one of their more popular colors. Um, and I really like it. It's kind of a mix in between gray and like a sea glass blue. So I got that. We're not using that tonight. And they have a flat top, which kind of is like a little protection from it. And I'm going to try to see because in the Dixie Bell, their sealer if you paint with white, it turns it like a yellow color, and I don't like that. So I'm going to get theirs and try and see if their top coat changes it. But if it's really good and we like it and all that, um, they have a Facebook called uh, Rethunk uh, Re Junk by Laura.com is their website. So we'll use it, and I can maybe uh, in CN's Crafters post up a link for you Um if you want to try it out, if you paint a lot of furniture or if there's, you know, a, you know, piece of furniture you want to, um, paint, um, I think, I mean, they have glaze, distress, all kind of distressing stuff too. But like I said, I only got these three. So I'm going to paint it all with this white, um, just because it's the background before we paint, maybe it'll get us good coverage. Um, and we can see how it goes. Y'all, <laughs> I forgot to bring my... We were on the road this weekend, so I forgot to bring my, my little paint cup in here. Um, hold on, I gotta grab it. Well, the only thing is I just don't have any water up here, so y'all give me just a sec and let me grab this over here. Won't take me but just a sec. my day off yesterday I had, you know, I was on here Friday and Saturday because, um, we were on the road, uh, 
last week and I missed two days. So I did Friday and Saturday. So um, yesterday on Mother's Day, I took a day off. So I may give y'all Friday. Um, he's getting better day by day. Good. I'm so glad, Judy. This test, came, his test came back negative, but he has a flu. Plus, yesterday, start getting shingles. Oh, does he? I had shingles one time in my arm. Most people get it around their waist, but I had it in my arm. All right. Let me do this. Get some paper towels. And we'll see. I'm, I don't know why I'm, like, nervous about using this paint. But, I mean, because somebody was in there, and they said they really, really liked this paint. But they do paint a lot of furniture. It was probably around the same price as Dixie Bell. It wasn't um, any more or less. I'm trying to think. It really doesn't have an odor. But, you know, most chalk paint to me doesn't have a, an odor. All right, so we'll see how this dries. That's what I'm kind of nervous about. Is it gonna dry? Should we have put chalk paint under here first? I don't know. I don't know what the, what, even what goes in uh, resin paint. So let's see how it does. It looks like it wants to separate from this metal a little bit. So I, I may have to wipe it off and we may have to, um, see how it's wanting to, let's see which it is smooth metal, and most of the time you have to do a little, a second coat. So let's see. We missed each other. Y'all wanna look at me for just a minute? <laughs> Kidding. Uh, caught you live, all right, Katie. Y'all, this is, I love this dryer, but the cord on it, I mean, it's almost like it's got wire in it. Like if I uh, roll it up, it stays rolled. If I straighten it out, it doesn't keep straight, so maybe it doesn't have wire. So let's see how this is going to be. Probably the best thing to test it out on this metal. I'm sure it's more for wood. Yeah, she had to call the cops, but they were long gone by the time the cops were to break in on my daughter last night. Oh my gosh, Debbie. Didn't see who did it. Oh my God, looks like chalk paint. Uh, kinda, not really. Thought chalk paint's kinda thick and uh, pasty. Uh, this seems really smooth like an acrylic paint. Seems to be dry and good. I'm probably just gonna, maybe because it's thinner. I have to put more than one coat. Now, you know, I don't like that. But like I said, I am painting metal and I don't want to say it's not good because, you know, chalk paint, I have to do two layers on metal. And this is like some smooth, shiny. I I'll tell you this, it dried a whole lot faster, chalk paint does. But it's probably because it's thinner too. I know it's really smooth. All right, let's see. And the reason why we're painting this white is because, number one, to cover up um, the background. Um, but when we start painting, I don't want to have to do a whole lot, whole lot of layers. But what we're going to do is half of it is going to be... Did you come out? Um, it's going to be a watermelon and we're gonna kind of put like a bite in it a good little summertime hanger or something you can do a bigger version and put it on your door um is it matte finish i mean yeah it seems to dry pretty flat looking but not as flat as chalk paint I think it's just the durability of it on furniture. 
which you know it, it has like uh, glazes and when she said when you sand it it does have a matte finish but you know on this metal i can't sand it like say it's debut i'm gonna use maybe on some wood next time and we'll see and that way we can sand it down but just like with like dixie bell or our waverly not so much it had like glazes that came with it in different shades, which was awesome. You know, like an antiquing rubs that come in different shades. Pretty cool. Oh, Amy, I missed you too. And, and I only miss you one day, but it, it does. It seems like I haven't seen y'all in forever. And I saw you twice Saturday and Friday night. But my man came home last night, so. And then he was late getting home. I probably still could have done like a short craft. Um, so good so far. I think I may put another coat on here, which I am doing pretty thin coats. And you gotta remember on metal, um, uh, you know, you do have more coverage because I just don't want to do it really thick because I didn't know how it dried and I surely didn't want to be here all night. I should have just wiped it off and did chalk and then waited till we did something with wood. Like it's good, re really good. It has on here cabinets too because I guess you just, you need something a little bit more durable than chalk paint. All right. All right, let's dry this and then we can, uh, we'll do the rest of it with our chalk paint. My plug in, I don't think it. Y'all, listen at my. <laughs> and I know the, I don't think that plug in is doing all that great. But the plug, that particular one. Yeah, the other day I realized that too when my, um, what we were using, the little iron wasn't working good. How did the pickles turn out? The pickles, they weren't as great as I hoped. They didn't tell, t taste terrible. And I, when I mean weren't as great, I was just expecting the super spectacular um, taste I had never tasted. I don't know if, do you make, do y'all ever make where you get the ranch dip? package and put it in sour cream it was just like that um, but mine said ranch dressing package I wish I could have gotten a dip what it did was it kind of muted the vanilla I'm not vanilla it muted the vinegar and gave it a um, a real ranchy taste and and so if you like ranch you will love this and it's not that i dislike ranch but it just kind of tasted like a ranch pickle like you dip your pickle in ranch which is great um but i, I think i just had something in my mind that it was going to be this super spectacular taste i had never tasted so like i said it wasn't bad um it just it, it was you know kind of what do you say like uh I don't know, just not so different taste. But I have some friends who, they put ranch on ranch. So if you're one of those people that you dip everything you have in ranch, this is the recipe for you. And you just take, y'all have to go back and look at Saturday's cooking, um, the first video from Saturday. Um, you just get a ranch pack and put it in some jar pickles and kind of, I, I, we shook it up throughout the day for 24 hours. And like I said, it wasn't, you know, terrible. It just, I was just thinking it was gonna be this like flavor I had never um, tasted before. All right, so I need some green. And, you know, I've got some of this Walmart green. I think that's one thing I have never bought from Waverly, and y'all are gonna laugh at me. Just some plain green. I, you know, I'm always so into shade and stuff. Just like a plain green like this. I don't think I've ever bought it. If I bought it, I can't remember, and I surely don't see it. Let me. That's because I have bought it in Dixieville. But I'm still gonna kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to just paint my rind green. You know, I like the shade, so we're gonna um, throw some shade on this. 
All right. Hey, Janet from Tennessee. Just hopped on uh, South Carolina yelling. <laughs> I'm late, but I'm here from Louisiana. All right, Joe. What we're going to do is um, paint half of it our watermelon. Um, and I kind of want to do a technique for the little... Um, seeds, but, you know, you never know. It might not work out. I'm trying to find the brush I want. And it's the one I've already used. Uh, don't like missing your lives or the hockey games, <laughs> Shannon. I don't like ranch dressing. I mean, it, it wasn't, it, that's what it kind of, I mean, it just, but, but that's what you're putting in it is a ranch flavor. And, you know, it was kids on TikTok that were doing it. You know how kids eat ranch dressing like it's, you know, 80s kids ate ketchup, so. All right. So, I'm just going to pick about, and I would I, I would say just eyeball this, just about halfway up. Doesn't matter. However, you know, I just stuck me a couple of lines on the side, so I'll know when to stop. Okay, and this is just the evergreen is the first uh, layer we're going to put on here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the sides because, you know, I want it to be a little dimensional. Now, mainly just do the sides. Uh, but if we have a little mess ups here, you know, we can go back and put a little white on there. Whatever we need. And see, that's the chalk paint. So see, it, it, it kind of... It's just painting on this metal. I chose to uh, the wrong, you know, material to put that paint on for the first time. But, I mean, it's, like, really smooth, but it's not chalky, but it's not shiny, shiny either. But we'll see how she goes. Okay. Now, I'm going to just eyeball. I don't know if you can see it. To do a little bit on the front. Not a whole lot. I want my the meat of my watermelon to be the main star. But I'm just going to eyeball. And you know it's fruit, so it's not uniform. So you can eyeball it around here. Boy, I'm telling you, I done broke out into a sweat. I am yelling, don't like missing your lives or the hockey. You yelling at them? Do you have your earbuds in? That's what I do. Because some of the crafters' voices my husband can't stand. And I don't think it's them personally. I think it's just he hears me like, because I'll watch my live and watch TV at the same time. And he'll look over and he'll go, I can't concentrate on the show. Because all I can hear is that lady's mouth. <laughs> Which I look at him, I'm like, I can imagine how many husbands have said that to y'all. Is I can't, she probably, especially people that think I'm super country. They're probably like, bless her heart, listen to that voice. And if she says y'all one more time. Okay. So, we just got our little piece, a little uh, rind part around the edge. Now, let's put a couple of other colors in it. And this is super close to it, so let's see. Better give it a new look. A little bit darker. All right, so let's bring this in. I think it's, I can't remember what it's called. I can remember it being almost like a shamrock green though. But you know, it looks a little bit more watermelony than this one. But I'm not a real big fan of this color. So we're just gonna do a little dimension on this. You know how like some watermelon, it's almost got that um, turquoise color in it. Okay. I'll 
let you see. Just blending some colors together. See how it's like green, and then you can see some of that like watermelony color in there too. All right, we're gonna put some stripes on it. Normally, you know, your stripes for your watermelon, you know, will go the length of your watermelon. So if you cut a slice, you need kind of those like little yellow, or some people do a dark green and a light green for their um, watermelon, but we're gonna grab some uh, yellow just so you can see it since it's gonna be on such a small little area. My husband loves your voice. You sound so Southern to us. Oh man, that's so sweet. Who was its husband? I always thought it was hilarious when I said awesome. I'm sure I say awesome all the time. I love that word. I have my earbud in now watching TV. Yeah, that's what I do. I, try, I put my earbuds in and, and that way he can't say them. Because, you know, some people's voices are a little loud. Probably like mine. My indoor. I have no indoor voice. Judge Judy yelling South Carolina laugh out loud. That is just what my husband says. They are funny. Yeah, he's like, man, I can't hear the TV. Are you gonna watch that? Or and I'm like, I can do both. You know, women we multiply, multitask. There used to be this book at the church that um, one of my old bosses uh, introduced me to, and I wish I would have read the whole book. But I can't even remember what it's called. But it's not like women are from Venus, men are from Mars, whatever that book is. But it was kind of along those like guidelines. It was showing you, you know, how women think. Like if you think about our minds in men's minds, our minds are all like spaghetti. I mean, we could do everything at one time. And he was in this book says men, their minds are like boxes, cubes. And it's because they love box. Like, just think of all the things that men love that are boxes. They love the TV. They love the remote control. They love their car. You know, just think of all these boxy things that they love. <laughs> Which is so true. But a woman's mind being all kind of spaghetti-like, it's because that's why we can think and, and multitask and do, you know, five things at one time. Cook supper, do the homework with your kids. God, I remember my kids were little. I would do homework with them as I was... Uh, get supper ready, you know, probably packing their book bags up for the next day. You know, you can go in there and wash a load of clothes. Mm -mm. Chris, he's going to finish one task at a time. Now, I got my little bitty uh, um, paintbrush, but we'll see. You may not need one this small because I don't want it to take up too much time. And then I don't want to really get in a hurry either. I think I'm going to go around and do them on the top, then do it on the side. And you can tone this yellow down with, you know, go back and put a little green or something on it and let it mix. Because really on a, you know, real watermelon, that's kind of what they uh, have more of is, um, you know, a little bit more of that yellow slash limey color. But these little tins from the Dollar Tree are perfect. Um, if you want to do any any sort of thing like this. Because you got your options on a small one, a big one. I wish I could remember what that book was called. It's been so long. That priest was left the church at like 2008. So it's been a long time. But it's so true. Men with their boxy brains. <laughs> hey, Helene. Hey, uh, you got home. Uh, just got home from work. All right. All right. Okay. See how, you know, it's, I mean, it's really kind of yellowy to me. For other people, they don't mind so much. And probably from a distance, it wouldn't, mind, it wouldn't bother me either. Am I watching baseball? I am watching baseball and watching you. That's right, we like rounded facey cheering. All right, and I'm gonna grab this kind, this color that looks a little bit more, <clears throat> more like a watermelon. So maybe it'll, when it mixes with the green, it'll give us a little bit of that lime color. And just like before, I'm gonna use Saint Brush, paint brush, not even gonna wash it, just gonna, yeah. 
So that way it kind of tones that yellow down where it's not just so much yellow. But I'll hold it up and let you see. See, it kind of gives it that little, you know, shadowed or whatever um, color. And if you put too much on it, go back and put your yellow over it. Use Saint paintbrush. Don't wash it. There we go. So it's still, you know, yellow, but it's just got that, you know, two-tone effect. Now let's do the side. The next part, you got to think of that, like, little fleshy color in between your dark rind and the meaty part of your, which is almost white on some of them and dark. So we probably could get away with doing a layer that's just white, <clears throat> with just like maybe a hint of green in it. Let's see. We can do this. No, I think I like it green better. I don't know, I'm gonna wipe them out all. Oh, it came, okay, it came off. Okay, well, we'll just leave like that little center white. It's not the end of the world. All right, now I'm gonna get my barnyard red and I'm gonna put just a touch of my white in it. Not um, anything major because, you know, I do want it to be on the red. I just want it to be just a little bit not so red. And look. When, and I even brought it out so you can see. Like, pink watermelon to me is really cute. On the red side, I'm kind of going to try to get something in between. Because I like hot pink watermelon stuff. It's really cute. And it's really girly, too. But, you know, it's our farmhouse. So, um, let's don't get too girly. Okay, there's their sealer. I need my white. And that cotton, see, and that's supposed to be kind of more of a cotton. Let's see what our white looks like against it. Like I said, I'm judging everything on that. Yeah, it does have a shade to it. It's not as white as I thought it was. I don't know if you can see it on there. Let me see if I can get a better light. How it's really not a stark white. It does have like a like that plastic, plastic, plaster color to it. All right. <laughs> Y'all. I'm looking for my, my cups, my all kinds of stuff. So I'm just gonna use this shell. Hey, Sin, did you get the card I sent, Debbie? No, but now I haven't. Uh, when did you see it? I got Darlene's and Jane. Here, I got my fan mail up here, all two of them, because y'all so special to me. Okay, just a little bit of white. I'll get a big dollop of this red. Yeah, that'll be pretty. So it's kind of like a faded red, which to me screams, you know, farmhouse. You know, everything's faded and worn out. Kind of like my body. <laughs> okay. All right, and let's let's just determine how thick we want our rind to go. And I'm probably gonna leave a pretty big gap to start off with, because you know how you, you tend to get closer and closer as you trying to straighten a line up. So I'm just gonna go around and do this first. See where we want it to go. And then try to sort of straighten my line up. Do you do that? Do you like get closer and closer on the line and the next thing you know, you're like, I'm just gonna do this and it'll straighten it up. Okay. See, I like that color. And I just put a little bit of white in my barnyard red. 
All right, let me see. Uh, hey, Sam from Dalton, going to have to watch rerun, watching my granddaughter play softball. All right, would well, give her a yell out. Say, Sin and her crafter said, go. I don't know her name, but tell her we said, run. All right, so let's see. Let's see, we'll do our little bite right here. You know, like somebody took a hunk out of our watermelon. Hey, and this shell is making a perfect little dish. So, all my sea lovers, y'all got all the shells around your house. Get one of the big ones and it can be your, your um, painting dish. You know, and they'll, it'll rinse out. If it doesn't, then you just have a pretty, the inside of your shell is just beautiful. Now, I meant for my bite to be, you know, kind of jagged and, you know, you, that is up to you however you want to do it. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit of my white. Um, I can drop that shell in my water. Um, just to kind of uh, distress this a little bit because that metal, I really don't want to sand it. But I feel like it, it needs a little tone in it. So just take your white and Just so it's not perfect. Because sure enough, as soon as I say I'm going to distress it a little bit, it'll take a hunk of paint off this metal. I water Malone. Oh my, I have to go to Old Navy and Lee Wrangler to buy my some big COVID clothes, but no much bigger. Just stretch in the same size. <laughs> Judy, that's why I had to do whole 30, girl, because I had gained 19 pounds since like November alone. And I think I've only lost like 16 and a half. I'm kind of stuck right now, but I feel like my clothes are still getting a little bit more baggy. So maybe it's just kind of in my head. But, you know, my 10,000 steps I was going to do a day, I still, I think only about three of those days so far. So, I got a lot of catching up to do. I think today and yesterday, I might have walked 4,000 steps. All right, let me get a little bit of paint out of this lid I should not have used. All right, now we're going to put some... Um, and I, I'll tell you, this is what I wanted to do. If I would have used wood, I think it would have been really cute if you took your hot glue gun and made like a tear shape. So it'll be kind of dimensional. Um, but um, on this metal, and hot as my glue gun gets, I'm pretty sure it would eat the paint. So we're gonna paint ours on there. And I'm gonna get my, and I'm gonna get my black. You know, and George, I don't know about Charles, ours will be black with a little bit of like, a uh, yellow streaky in the, the, the seed, you know what I'm talking about? I'm getting all specific about my seed. No one, I'm not, I'm not gonna do all that right now. That'd be too much. But um, that way we can bring a little black into our bow. I'm in Dalton, Georgia also. All right, Kathy, you are painting left-handed tonight. No, it's because normally you you ma ma mash this little magic wand on your, before, right before I go live, and it brings up this thing where it show me how to mirror it. And today I was watching one of my people, and they were like, I'm backwards because they, they've changed it. So at first I thought, well, she didn't know how to do it. But right when I went live, when I hit the little wand, it did not bring that up. 
it, it brought something like if I wanted to put like a border around my pictures of smiley faces and all kind of stuff. So they've changed it up and I'm sure it's on there. I've just got to probably Google to see how you go back to doing that. Why they would change it, I have no idea. All right, so let me practice this and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna start at the top and make a little tear shape. And I don't think that was the best thing to show it on. So we're gonna make it like a tear shape. So you really can maybe do your dots. It might be simpler for us to do it upside down. And I'm just gonna do it around the edge. I know they're only in the center, but when you're painting one, that isn't gonna be really cute, but I'm not gonna do like a thousand around the edge. So we'll do like a big little dot and bring it up to a point like a tear. Whoops. As soon as I lifted my hand up, I messed it up. All right, so it's just like that, like a, a, just a tear. All right, I don't wanna do a whole lot, so let me. And I think what's gonna be necessary is me um, getting out my smaller brush. A little bit more tedious than I thought. All right, so let me make this one bigger like I made the next one. Yeah, that's a whole lot easier. All right, so next one, whoops. Got a little string on the end of my And I got a little sweaty No, She doesn't have her mirror on. Yeah, I, I don't know how, and um, but I will figure it out. Hopefully they have not taken their option off. I mean, why would they do that? But you know, I don't always understand Facebook. All right, so we're just going around, doing our little, for me, it's upside down tier, but no, I'm not left-handed. Now, why am I getting fatter and fatter on these things? Okay. I don't want mine really close together. Y'all may want that. I do a lot of them, but I don't think it's really necessary. But I'm sure whatever way you want to do it will be just fine. It might be like my stars I was doing the other day. And Beth, when I finished, my sister, she said, you need to work on your stars. She said they didn't look right. And I'm like, I've always done my stars like that. She was probably being a meanie because I was talking about her kitchen. I said, I never said you couldn't cook. I said, you don't cook. Because when she cooks, oh my God, her potato salad is to die for. But she doesn't cook. All right, so here's our watermelon. And then y'all, these were really, like you use oven covers. That would be really cute if you did like different kind of fruit. No one, I, you know, how I am about color, and I'm telling you that would be really all right, so let's dry this a little bit. Oh, let me just, let's be, I feel like I'm in a movie. Debbie, where are you? Talking Rock, Georgia. Oh, Talking Rock, Georgia. Mailed it Thursday, I think, to the return address on my package you sent. Then I probably will get it. We don't need to get our mail till 3.30, but Chris brought it in today. Thursday. I think it's taking people a week or so to get their stuff. I know it took y'all a couple weeks to get all the stuff I sent y'all. I sent out like so many stuff. And then the one thing that I did get back, 
I still have it. And um, it, I mailed it on the, it says it went out of my post office on the 12th. They sent it back to me on the 22nd. Well, they sent it back from wherever it went on the 22nd. I didn't get it until like May the 2nd or 3rd, which was crazy. Or right, at, right around May 1st. All right, and I like the um, little dimensional part. You can see like the, um, all right, let's see. I kind of want to put something at the top because this, well, this is a simple craft for me, but I kind of want to put my messy bow right in the center too. So there probably wouldn't be any use in, which I don't know, I could put this pretty low, put the messy bow up there and maybe right, okay. So let's see what we can find. I wish I could find something that had summer on it. So let's look in our summer stuff. I still have not put up. All right, look, there's something right on top that says summer. Okay, the other day we did sun, farm flesh sun, sunflowers. That doesn't say summer. I thought I saw something that said summer. Just fresh, fresh pineapple. So we won't be doing any pineapple one. Lemon farm, no. Open daily. I like this fresh sweet and it's really low, like we need, need it to be. Or thin, I should say, for the area. I just don't wanna worry about putting something on here because it's gonna get covered up. Lemons, lemons. Fruit market, which I don't know, I do like the fruit market, y'all. I do like the fruit market screens. Um, uh, summer. There's the market that we like. I don't think, I, oops, here's one, but it's huge. See, it says, whoop, let me see if I can get summer on there. I probably could get summer on there, sweet summer, and just don't put time. And would it look bad if I went down into my um, fruit a little bit? Like put sweet summertime. I really like that. Sweet summertime and went down into the fruit a little bit. I think I like that. Because we're going to spend a lot of time on our messy boat and make it kind of big and foofy and um, a lot. So I'm thinking I like that. Send message me your address, your mail. I mail you came back. All right, I will. And listen, my middle name um, is Neely. Somebody was asking me if my middle, my, my name Neely. It is Cynthia Neely Man, but you can just do it to man. All right, so I like Sweet Summer. And I actually like it going down on my, my watermelon a little bit because then I, because I like it crooked. <laughs> You know, it's kind of like handwriting, so instead of like right here, I kind of want it not bad tilted, but just a little bit tilted. Where it goes down into the meat, just a little bit of the watermelon, let's see. It says sweet summertime, but we're just gonna use a uh, sweet summer. I think I like it right there. All right, now where's, there it is. It needs ants. Oh, listen, I have ant on my ribbon. I found some ant ribbon. That's why I bought out the pink and the red, and I kind of like that it's in between because I really want to use both hot pink and red because I want the messy bow to be really big. And I really, I don't trust this stuff or not enough to pull up this paint. So I'm just gonna hold it still. Now I'm gonna do the black because I got a black checkered to um, uh, put in my messy bow. So I don't mind the black being in here. So I, kn I knew I definitely wanted to do the writing. And black. Ah, oh, you need ants. I like, I like that. Yeah, I think I do too. Okay. 
This is like really old, but I mean, I'm gonna use it up. I use black all the time. There we go. Just remember, stenciling, if you don't want it to run, use a, don't wet this. Even if you sit there and like try to dry it out, they, it se still seems like they bleed. Use a dry one and always dab your paint off. Ooh, I'm gonna cover up one of my little seeds, but I still like it in the meat of the uh, watermelon. I love it here, been here about 15 years. Oh, and Dalton. Oh, are y'all coming fast friends? y'all live in the same place. I love that. You know, I saw another crafter hold down their stencil with a paintbrush, which is so clever. Because, you know, it really does, like when you have to touch it the whole time. And y'all know my hands get dirty enough. All right, hello from Thompson. Hey, Nina. All right, this is gonna just take just a second. So I got to remember to stop at the R. So like Forrest Gump, y'all yell stop. There needs to be a button on here that it'll push and like my phone will start ringing or something. When I go on and I've missed a spot. Y'all were so good about telling me about that. And y'all have been some crafting ladies. I'm talking about our sins crafters. Y'all have been posting all kind of stuff. I can only wait to the fall because I think that's like a crafters just, you know, oh, like that time of the year for us crafters, you know, cause you can mix fall and then halfway through fall, you start making your Christmas stuff, which is super hard for me y'all with somebody who does this because it was hard for me to do like a couple of 4th of July things in, you know, for Easter. And which I know, you know, if you want to show somebody how to do something or give them inspiration, they need to do the crafts before the holiday gets here. It's just kind of weird. It's like my house is always two months ahead of everything that's going on. All right. That's my oven saying it's ready. I got a, I got the, you know, I had to buy two whole chickens the other day. Well, I, I put the other one in the oven because they were wanting to eat leftovers tonight. Chris was eating a pizza and I was like, but I don't want leftover. I ate leftovers for lunch today. <laughs> so I butterfly that other chicken and put it right in the oven. And y'all, that chicken was so good the other day. My sister, I was giving her a hard time about wanting to burn my chicken, but she did a good job. And the potato boat, it looked like squash when I opened it. Cause you know, I put two of those yellow um, 
peppers in it. And they were like, ooh, what's that? I'm like, oh, well, y'all not paying attention to me? Paying attention to me? <laughs> no. Um, but it was so good. You know, you can't beat those boats. And the cleanup was throw it straight in the trash. But it was every crumb was gone. I had nothing to bring home to eat, like, right for my late night snack. Because Buffy went out with her cousins. And Chris wasn't here. So I came home Saturday night, around nine for my sisters, to an empty house, which was super nice. <laughs> it's kind of like having a mini staycation because Bubby stayed out with her cousins till I know 12, 30, one o'clock. Well, they came back here, but they were outside chit-chatting and, you know, running their yappas. And I started binge watching some vampire show. <laughs> you know, when you start watching it and you're like, well, this is terrible, but I got to figure out what what comes. And now I didn't got all into it. And I was like, well, maybe it only have two seasons. It'll be one of those shows that's canceled. No, it's got four seasons. <laughs> four seasons. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting that up because this is the brush I'm going to use to connect my lines. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Too cute. Too cute. Right. Let's clean this off. Sorry I had to answer the phone. Did she say they uh, pickles turned out? Chris, the pickles turned out good. I mean, if you like ranch dressing, this is the thing for you. Um, but um, that's like, I mean, it, it, it mutes the uh, vinegar in your pickles too. Um, where, you know, it's not so vinegar, which I love vinegar, and maybe that's what I was a little disappointed. If it would have tasted super vinegary and um, uh, ranch, I probably would still like it. But that's what I told Buffy. Buffy thought they were awesome. Um, and I think it, all kids, that's why it's so popular with them, that like pickles, like this. Um... It just, uh, I guess I was just waiting for this big wow, and it was just like, yeah, that tastes, that tastes like um, ranch dressing on, in your pickles, but the, 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 the vinegar was real muted. And I'm like one of those people who could drink vinegar. Love it. I enjoy watching it Saturday. Nina, I had a good time. You enjoyed Ren, and Ren was like, I don't wanna be on there, y'all. I love it, and I like that it's just kind of in the side. So what I'm gonna do now is this is what I always say: it's like right here on the S. You need to cr connect those lines. That's where they have to put something in so your little stencil doesn't fall apart. But you're meant to connect them. Now you don't probably have to, but to me it looks better when you do. It looks handwritten, not stencily. And it only usually takes a second. There's usually not a whole lot of them. Hey, Chris, hold on. How, what time is it? 8.33. All right, my chicken has been in the... So it only needed an hour? I put it in right before I started. It turned off at 8.30. Okay. So that's that beeping I heard. All right, so we connect our E's. And like I said, you don't need a lot of paint. All right, there you go. Whoops. Didn't connect my U to my first M. So it looks all handwritten. All right, so I'm gonna try that really good so we don't get any smears. Uh, no, do they didn't burn your chicken? No. <laughs> I would have left it in there longer than an hour. He's saying it only needed an hour. Cause I mean, it was pretty that big and I did not cut the neck bone out of it. So when I put it in there, I was like, why is it all humped over to the pie? I just put the neck bone in there. Everything connected. 
I'd throw it in the pond to some of the turtles or something. Do they get burning chicken? Super cute. Love it, love it. Hey, Sam from Tabby. Hey, Monica. Are y'all still in Tabby? Y'all went thirsty, didn't you? I know Lynn and them went thirsty. All right. This metal heats up, so that's probably why it helps dry a little faster, too. Brush me up in there. All right. So perfect. Just using one of those little, uh, what do you call them, like your stove eye covers, and we use the bigger one of the two, so we have the other one. And you might could tin snip this if you didn't want, if you actually wanted to have two halves. I mean, they're super thin. All right. So, and what we talked about earlier is, I don't know, it's already kind of dimensional, but yeah, I'm still gonna have problems adhering it to it. So, let's get a couple of these out. What am I looking for? All right. And I'm just gonna get the thin side of it. So we'll put it underneath it right there. Just let me grab another one. See about how long we're gonna do it. All right, save these other ends in case we need it. Okay. Now I'm gonna put it towards the bottom because we're gonna put a huge messy bow here. It may interfere with our sweet, but you'll still see the summer, which is perfect. So, that one right there. All right, and I'm just gonna put like one little dot so far just to keep it in place so I can make sure I have them where I want them. Because you know, I don't want to glue it all down and you'd be able to see that. Okay, you can see that one up there. It's a little too high. So, let me get my marker out in case they move. Don't go higher than that or that. that. Did you okay. to chicken on? No. Unless Chris said it, they thought it needed more. Ask your daddy. Okay. Oh, Y'all, look. I mean, I'm pouring. Okay. So I got my little lines to see where I want it to go. I think it'll be easier to... Do that. Now, if you hang this outside, which I don't plan on doing... Put some E6000 on here because, you know, especially on this metal, you know, it's getting pretty hot out here. It will, you know, in Georgia, especially all my Southern folks, it will um, fall. And, you know, then you, in which this wouldn't break, but it's liable to scratch your paint job all up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of our little wooden uh, squares, the little perfect square one. I mean, you could use Jenga blocks, uh, scrap, scrabble pieces, anything like that. I mean, you can use a couple of um, more of your sticks, just depending on how you want it to go. But I think I'm gonna do two because I want it to kind of set up just a little bit, not a lot. Um, but you're gonna need to do something like this to put this on here, or you're gonna see all your glue on the outside. All right, so let's see if I had two. If it doesn't make a big difference. No, well, no, I'm only gonna do one, and I'll tell you why in a minute, and it's because my messy bow, I would have to put it on here to cover it up if I didn't. and I want to put it on the top up there. All 
Oh, Monica probably answered me and I didn't look. I think she said Walmart, $10. Yes, both of these came from Walmart. We did a, an Easter craft with the other one. We put the little pink truck, remember with the eggs on the back of it? Um, a hot pink truck. Um, but they come, the other one was maybe like an inch wider and an inch longer, but you get two of them for $10. So you think they're $5 a piece. And technically the other one, I probably could have taken the stuff off of it and reused it. All right, so I'm gonna put glue all on the top of here. For my... Ooh, boy, that glue, I'm telling you, my glue gun gets hot. It heated up that metal, okay. So, we still have a little bit of space, but I want to put my messy bow right here, and it would have made too much of a gap and probably bent my bow a little bit, and I, and I really kind of want to put it on the metal so it doesn't interfere and cover up the sweet. It's probably going to cover a little bit of it up, but not too much. Now, Kim, I did say how the pickles turned out. They, uh, they were good. I mean, if you like ranch dressing, do it. And I like ranch dressing. It kind of just muted the... Um, vinegar a little bit and I was just kind of disappointed that it it wasn't some super wow flavor but like I said it, it tasted like ranch pickles so if you like ranch or you have kids that they do anything for ranch dressing make this at home because it really was different I, I I think it would be really good if you um if maybe if I would have had it with a sandwich with something um, but I was just eating it by itself. So I, I guarantee it would be really good with like some kind of Subway sandwich or something. And I think you could do anything. I got the spears because I thought it would be better for the meat to be exposed of the pickle, but you probably could do slices, like uh, hamburger slices, or I'm sure you could do whole. I just don't think it would penetrate on the inside, even 24 hours later. Uh, when did you start doing things left-handed? I'm sorry, Connie. They Facebook has changed their thing to where I can't mirror um, my phone. I don't know how, I, and I, why, why they changed it, I don't know. All right, I wanna make lots of room, and we're gonna set this to the side for right now. And we're gonna do our little messy bow. Country! <laughs> that so screams country. All right, cause we are gonna have a lot of things in our messy bow. And I don't want to use those brand new scissors to cut this, but, oh, it came with little tiny ones in it, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, and let's see, judging by that, probably only needs to be maybe about this long. So we can sit here and chit chat because we're fixing to make it messy though, and I'm gonna make it messy. And make it big and fluffy and put all kinds of stuff in it. We may even put some raffia in it. I wanna put pink and red in it. Nobody has been able to flip lately. See, I, I did it Saturday, but, and I heard on one of my crafters her say today, I don't know it, why it's doing that. So I thought maybe it was her phone. And then I was like, no, it's obviously something they have changed. Just throwing, every now and again, I'm gonna try to throw some black and white in there. Um, oops. And that's kind of really like a, look at this. You know, I got this like, oh, I'll use it all the time. And I think I'm scared to use it, so I never do. Rick Rack, isn't that what it's called? Isn't that like the cutest name for something? I 
got another green out here. Oh, but this will do. Oh, I do. I see it right there. This has got kind of like a little lattice pattern in it. Not bad. Should have grabbed my darker green. I'll see if it's hiding up here somewhere, you know, to throw like that darker rind on the outside, that part in there. Here's the one with the ants in it that I think I can cut because the ants, yep, well, one isn't, but most of the ants are on the outside and we'll make that like our little focal point on the front. I love that. With what am Yeah, most of the ants are on the outside, so you can still make these smaller. All right, some more hot pink. I got this on sale at um, Carolina Pottery. Have you bought new glue sticks, Carol? I don't, no, no, I can't believe you asked and calling me out. I laughed today. Mm -mm, got one. The one we just used. Not that one, but I have one more. I have not, I, have, I went to Walmart Saturday before I went over to Best to get the stuff that we made and laughed at her when I got there. I said, I still didn't get any glue, glue sticks. Now I know that I grabbed some black, little black checker. Did I set it back down? Please tell me it failed. Let me see if I have any of it here. Uh, no, but I got my little barn animals from Walmart. We'll use that. I really had some little black and white gingham that I wanted to use. That would have been perfect. We'll put our favorite in here. We'll put that on the back. We need like a, black, a backdrop. Okay. No, nope, we don't want to use that. Here is some... That'll bring a little bit more white into it. And I got to get my jute and my raffia and we'll be done. All right, let's see, let's see. I think it's uh, brick, 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 uh, brick, 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 ribbon. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was brick, brick, but you know. You know me in terminology. <laughs> it's not always the best friends. Okay. Let's get us some juice pieces. All right, now those scissors, y'all were doing so good. Oh, I know what I can do. And got this little bit of ribbon now. That's it. we don't need the ribbon. We can make our own ribbon. Give me some hearts for that great idea I just had. <laughs> Girl, look at those scissors cut. And I know look, these are the little ones that I got that came with my um the, my new big ones I bought. I need to be testing out the ones Chris cut for me. Right. Look at that, y'all. It's gonna be so good. And let's see, I'm gonna get like the real stuff out. You know, I put all this in there that we took off that little skirt. Put that to the side. 
And I do have this big black and white, but I like the little bitty ones better. All right. So let's just start putting them in here, but definitely gonna put that on the back. That can be our little start. Uh, be careful, them says it's gonna get you. I know, really? Um, I got Michael Jackson songs stuck in my head from the ride home today. <laughs> Y'all hear me singing over here? I mean, it's not good by any means. It's just funny. It's funny. Y'all like my, y'all like, see, look at them. They like my singing. I mean, calling it Brick Brack. No, 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 no. You may be right. I don't know. Don't be taking my word for it. Or did everybody say it was real? Are you going all out tonight on the rest? Yes, sir, I told y'all I was going to make a big one. Biggins. Remember Biggins Ball? <laughs> oh, she's not in here. I'm laughing because when we go to Myrtle Beach, y'all, there is like, I guess, a strip club, and, and it's called Biggins. And, and you know, when, when they were young, every time we'd go past it, Chris and I would, like, bust out laughing. And um, and so when they got older, we had to drive by to go to our place every year. And finally, you know, when the, I can't remember that first year when they're old enough to to, you know, start reading signs and all that, but I just remember them dying laughing, going, y'all see what that said? <laughs> and I looked at Chris, and I was like, he knew it was coming. We both knew it was coming. All right. But yes, it's called Biggins. Which is, I guess that's what you go there to see. Who is going? Who who is going to tell all that? Why you tie it? Who gonna hold it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I forgot forgot to put this part in it. I don't know. We just putting it in here, child. We'll put our little ant man kind of on top. Oops, so I'm gonna put some more pink in here. I want to put that ant right on top. You know, I watch all these people make Bessie bows, and they'll, like, do it with a, um, hold on, I want that one right on top, so I think, well, and they do those little, what do you call them, um, with those little zip ties, and I'm like, the one time I pulled, like, a zip tie real hard, it broke, so, you know, I'm weary of them now. So we'll try it, and if it doesn't work, then we'll be like, we don't know what you're talking about. But let's see, see if it'll work. If I pull it and break it, we'll get our jute out. It's Rick Rack. I thought so, but you know, I am terrible with terminology. I live here, I don't remember that one, but there's so many here. Um, yeah, I, oh God, don't tell me big, they lost biggins. COVID's been taking out biggins. Buffy, huh? me, remember when y'all were little, y'all first saw the sign biggins and Daytona? Oh my God. Why are you well, I mean, I was just started laughing and I was singing and I, I was said biggins when I was talking about making, uh, this uh, bow, y'all. I hope I catch it all. I think I just usually like to use jute too because um, I could just, I don't have to worry about what it looks like in the center of it because, you know, jute always goes with it, but we'll see. Got to cut all this mess here down. But 
But yes, it was called Biggins. It's on the, uh, let's see, when you go out the main bridge past the racetrack, you would turn to the right and you probably go maybe two miles and it's on the right. You can't miss it. So either it's closed down or that's hilarious. I'm gonna tell Chris. Y'all, it didn't do too bad. And now when I pulled it like that, trying to hide that thing, it's kind of, you know, that's gonna look so good on our um, uh, little thing. Uh, this, and I don't have my, my screw, my uh, screwdriver, y'all. Did I leave it at Bess house the other day? Either I did, or maybe I haven't gotten it out of my car because I didn't see it when I sat down earlier. All right, that bow. I know, girl, it is bow. Maybe we need to do one like this every time. Love the craft. Sorry, I thought you said Myrtle Beach. No, uh, Daytona Beach. All right, so see, we do it like that. You can still see the sweet. See, that's why I didn't want to do it too high up is because I really want to put it here. And I figured if we had it high up, it could, like, flip some of that up on the end. All right, so let me cut this. I really would like to drill a hole in it and uh, secure it because, you know, I wouldn't want it to fall off. But it's not going outside, so my glue should hold. Um, but look at this bow. Let's see. I don't know if that plastic might get in the way. And this from the dollar store is probably going to go and fall out of the floor. Oh, that looks super cute. Yeah, and kind of fold it up like this forward. Covers up that plastic. All right, I love it. I love it. And I like the pink and the green. I am one of those people who are so scared to put pink and red together. But I think that, I mean, it just goes just so well together. Bringing in the hot pink, you know, next to a red. You got the red here from the chevron, the chevron pattern. And I, I don't, I think it looks really good. And there's probably a couple of shades of red in there too. All right, so let's glue this sucker on. Yeah, I got one more after this long one, but I have got, I've got to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I'm going to get brave and try that with a bow. Um, yeah, listen, you can use, I saw somebody make a massive one time, but you think I used a lot. She probably used about three times that much if you're going to do with the napkins. Um, but it was super, super cute. Um, if you're going to do with, uh, you can do it, you know, rag the cloth like we did right here. A uh, burlap makes a really firm, burlap just kind of gets a little stiff. Um, cause you see, I've got some like ribbon right here and it tends to be a little stiff. So I would cut it up in small pieces, but anything can make a messy bow. All right, let's see. Maybe I should put it on here and so that can see where that's going to go. I think I got a good bond. I'm going to try to give it a second on this metal. Love this craft. Love the watermelon. Y'all, you look now, like I said, I did pay $5 for this, but you know, really 50 cent cause you have another one that. You could make a smaller one to go with it. You could use any kind of circle wood. You can cut out a circle from your, um, like on a uh, piece of poster board, cardboard. But see, this is the small. They only come in a two pack at the Dollar Tree. So this is the bigger one. But it's actually the smaller. Um, but they, they're only maybe about an inch, you know, you know, a little bit wider, a little bit longer. They're really close to the same size, the uh, two boards were, and we used the bigger one for the other one. So you still have your other top uh, to make another craft with. Let's see if it's gotten hard. I still feel like I need to drill a hole in it and make it more secure. But I may can just put some extra on this cloth over here on the other side. But like I said, if you're gonna put it on a door outside on your porch, 
Definitely put E6000 on those uh, little pieces of shim that we put under there. And I would maybe drill a hole or put your messy bow, you know, on your hanger or something because, you know, it only take 90 degrees and that glue would just like, it's just like, it, it doesn't melt. It's like it just go, bleh, goes away. No, I know what I was thinking. I used to watch TV show The Game and he called his daughter uh, Brit Brat. Oh, okay. You made the best messy bows. This is probably the prettiest messy bow I have ever made. And it's, I, I really was trying not to, you know, I forget about raffia and stuff like that. And y'all always say, put some raffia on it. And I just forget. Speaking of, I got a little loop left right there. But y'all, perfect little inside. Y'all know I love to hang things on my door on the inside. And this is not heavy at all. I mean, it, it probably, I mean, yeah, it's not heavy. Um, I love to hang stuff on my doors on the inside. Y'all, don't be afraid to, you know, put little command hooks on the inside of your doors and hang things because your wreath on the outside, nobody really ever sees it. And it's so easy to change something like this on your door, then find something permanent on your wall, and then you, you know, the season changes and you want to put it up. Unless you could go back, and you really could do that. Um, you know, do like, you know, maybe some kind of watermelon pick, not watermelon, uh, pumpkin picture on here and change this to fall and, and, and hang it back in the same place. But, um, that's why I try not to put too, too many things on my wall in my uh, house because I'm forever changing them. And, um, your next thing, you're like, oh, I got to hang something right here because I had to take that down. may not look. You may think you have to do the same size. So, hang things on your doors. Going into, a, like, a guest bathroom or something where people are going to see it. Cute watermelon, just the cutest ever. Yeah, I think it was really cute. And I, li I love the fact that I mixed the pink and the reds together. That's thrilling to me because at first when I picked it up, I was like, would I want to do pink or do I want red? And I was like, well, I'll just go for something in between. So I bought them both out here. But like you see, they, they just go together perfect. Um, I'm freezing. My husband has the air on 68. Well, mine is on 67 and I'm in here sweating. I got a $100 gift card. For Michael's for Mother's Day. All right, Debbie. Best gift ever. That's what, listen, y'all. There was this TikTok today Chris was um, watching. And it's this woman. And she's flying up on her, um, in her car, in her driveway. And her son's like filming her. He's like, whoa, mama, why are you going so fast? And she's like, I got to get the bags out of the car. And Chris looked over at me. And he goes, that looks like you coming in from the dollar store. And... I'll say, Chris will say, can I help you? I'm like, no, 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 I got it. I got it. I'll bring my bags in. And he laughs at me all the time about that. I'm like, listen, if I'm hiding something from you, it's like, I don't want you to see the $50. I just did it in the Dollar Tree. I said, most women, when they're hiding stuff for their husband, they're hiding like probably a $200 pair of shoes from their husband. And that's one thing. So he busted out laughing. He goes, you, you know, I'm not criticizing. And I said, yeah, I said, but I don't, I don't try to, sometimes I try to hide from you, especially when I make the promises. I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to use all this stuff up first before I buy any more. And he looks at me like he knows I, that's complete BS. I, I'm not. I'm going to go buy more when something comes out. Uh, who, who hawk? What is who hawk? <laughs> Oh, hoo-ha. Oh, you're saying because you got the um, the gift certificate. Yes, perfect. Where did that K come from? What K? All right, what are y'all talking about a K? Is it because it's backwards? See, y'all, you can't see it, but it says sweet summer. I wish you could, but you can't see it. Where did the K come from? On what? Don't making me laugh, a K. Oh, no, that's an M. C-U-M-M-E-R. Y'all y'all messing me up. <laughs> All right. Well, I will see y'all tomorrow uh, night, and we'll make another little project. And I'm going to finish the noodle that I showed y'all, um, making it, uh, show you how to make it into this um, with just a little bit of muslin or canvas, whatever you want to call it, and just a dollar pool noodle. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.